hello 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 hi hi everyone welcome welcome to another live stream bienvenidos a un nuevo en vivo how are you doing i hope you're doing well como están todos espero que estén muy bien hoy vamos a hoy vamos a hacer un crucigrama today we're going to do a crossword and this crossword is going to be about candy yes <laughs> um, one of you requested this uh, in the previous crossword uh, and that's why we're doing a, a crossword puzzle about candy thank you so much for your suggestions um, that's that's great thank you for suggesting that I believe the person who suggested that was Will one of our members so thank you Will I hope you can join us today. Uh, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. You can also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And I don't know why the timer is <laughs> active, but anyways, you can visit smlessons.com. Uh, for more free Spanish lessons to download this crossword puzzle and to donate to this channel If you would like to support us, that would be great uh, So I have a bunch of links in the video description down below. So please feel free to check that out <laughs> uh, I want to give a big 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 shout out to our members. I want to give a big big shout out to our Cerveza members, que es in William Lopez. Thank you so much, guys. The support is greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for the cerveza <laughs> or cerveza. Uh, thank you so much for that. Also, another big shout out to our Cafecito member, Keith Pearson. Thank you, Keith. The coffee is delicioso. The coffee is delicious. Thank you so much. Uh, so if you want me to give you a shout out and for more perks like video chat or because that's a perk when you get a membership if you get a cerveza membership you can video chat with me you can uh, have access to exclusive live streams so yeah check that out you only need to click on the join button down below and ah uh, yes thank you so much for doing that if you get a chance please Please do, so. do that. <laughs> okay. Um, remember that we are live streaming, so you can use the live chat. You can um, answer or guess the, the Spanish words uh, on the live chat. You can obviously use the live chat for that. You know how this works. And I'll show you the crossword puzzle. Uh, it's right here we have 15 words about candy believe it or not <laughs> and um, I have to be honest with you I don't like candy <laughs> and I don't know much about candy but I found good common Spanish words about candy so I hope you can guess them because yeah they're they're quite they're quite interesting and well if you like candy maybe you you can use these words okay uh, I see on the live chat KS KS welcome KS como te, te la vida como te la vida como te va en la vida okay uh, KS says profesionales médicos profesionales tienen una discusión sobre la salud. Ok, so you're using today's word of the day, discusión. Thank you for doing that. And uh, yeah, that's one perk that members get. Uh, every day they get a, a new Spanish word of Spanish word of the day. Uh, so yeah, that's very cool. Thank you for using that word, KS, and welcome. Ok, so guys, 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 guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I am ready. Remember that I will choose the first number or the first word. I'll read a definition in English and then you have to guess the word in Spanish. You can do that in English too, but you won't get a point because we keep score. <laughs> 
and we keep two scores, two different scores, a monthly score and today's score, okay? So whoever wins today will, will be able to be on the monthly score. Right now we have a tie though. Will has won one time and then uh, KS one time as well. So let's see what happens at the end of the month, whoever wins the most times get a chance to join us on a podcast episode so that is pretty cool that's pretty 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 awesome okay so let's get started i'm going to i'm going to choose the first word and there's a timer too guys you have two minutes to answer well i in total i'll read the definition and i'll start the timer first I'll read the definition and then you gotta guess the word, okay? So let's do an easy one. I always do that <laughs> because we have very complicated words uh, and long, very long. So let's do, I think we should do, okay, number six down, six down. So let me find the word for you. Oops, what happened? Um, never mind. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, six down, guys. Six down. That is going to be the word. And this is the word right here. This word has six, six letters. Seis letras. So let's see if I can find a definition for you. Okay, six down. We'll get the timer ready. Okay. Hang on, timer. Hang on. <laughs> okay, two minutes. Okay, six down. Six letters. And all of these words are nouns. Okay, all of them are nouns. So don't worry about verbs, adjectives, and yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, the timer starts starts now a flat rounded candy on the end of a stick so the definition is a flat rounded candy on the end of a stick so how do you call that kind of candy that uh, you have uh, at the end like yeah that kind of it's round it's round and um, it's usually, well, it has a stick. <laughs> usually, yeah, it's round and it has some sort of stick. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's it. That, that's the candy. <laughs> okay. Um, I see a correct answer. James Sager is in the house. Hello, James. Uh, Pero que es eso? Pero que es eso? We're talking about candy. <laughs> That's that's what we're talking about. And there are different ways to say this word that we're trying to guess. There are different ways to say this same word. Um, or, yeah, this candy, this kind of candy. But there is one word that has six letters, okay? Chupete. Chupete has seven letters. Uh, so, James... I don't know if I said welcome, but welcome, James. And um, chupete is not the answer. The correct answer is paleta. 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 Okay. So that means lollipop. La paleta. Okay. So here's the thing. Paleta can be used for, if you were referring to a lollipop, you know, hard candy lollipop or if you're talking about some uh, popsicle as well paleta so it's just a general term to refer to something that is on a stick <laughs> okay so paleta and it, it's also candy something sugary right so yes paleta la paleta the lollipop okay uh cedo flower cedo flower uh, hola, hola. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Sido. Uh, it's nice to read you. And uh, yeah, so let's give the first point to KS. K 
Okay, yes. First point. Okay, so good job, KS. Now, KS is saying 14 vertical. 14 vertical. Let's see where that number is. 14 vertical. That's 14 down, guys. 14. 14. 14 vertical is right over here. It has six letters as well, so it's not that bad. And let's see. Okay, one sec. Okay, 14 vertical. The timer starts now. This is a plural wor word, <laughs> not world. <laughs> this is a plural word, and the definition is a decade part of a tooth due to eating candy. <laughs> and it's plural, okay? So <laughs> I know this is not specifically candy but it has to do to eating candy okay so it's plural and it's a decade part of a tooth due to eating candy so what's the word that you need here guys it has six letters and it's a noun and it's also plural plural okay so uh-huh, I see. Okay, mm. yes, it's saying cavidad. Nope, that's not the word. No, not cavidad. <laughs> it's, you're pretty much using the, you're using the English word cavity. <laughs> uh-huh, ding, ding, ding. We have a correct answer, guys. And um, James Sager says caries, caries. And let me tell you that that is the correct answer. Caries, las caries. That's feminine and plural, las caries. That means cavities, okay? Cavity, well, obviously, if you want to say cavity, carie, okay? Carie. And uh, the plural form is caries, las caries, okay? Excellent. So James gets the point. Good job, James. Let me give you a point. James gets a point. Awesome. Now, James, can you please let us know the next number? So that happens when you eat a lot of candy. <laughs> you get cavities. You get caries. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Now, please, James, let us know the next number. Uh, as I said before, guys, you can download this crossword puzzle. You only need to go to smlessons.com slash games and you can download that for free. Okay, so that's very cool. And um, yeah, I have all the crosswords there as well so you can download previous crosswords as well yeah <laughs> okay yes says dentista con pruebas y hay caries okay yeah you need a dentista if you have caries for sure james one across let's do that thank you james okay one across one across Ooh, <laughs> this one, guys, is the one over here, the one at the top. That looks pretty, pretty long. Oh my goodness. This has three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15. 15 words. It's probably more than one word. 15 words 15 letters and it's probably more than one word uh, so one across it has actually three words okay so the timer starts now as I said before this has three words and it's a soft dense chewy candy made by boiling a mixture of milk or cream sugar 
uh, other ingredients like glucose, uh, butter, and vanilla. Okay, so this is just a soft, dense, chewy candy. Okay, it's usually, I think it's usually brown. And some people use only one word to say this, but I want. <laughs> I <laughs> there's also another one that has three three words. So a soft, dense, chewy candy. Okay, made by boiling sugar, milk, cream, and oof, I don't even know, like butter and vanilla. It's very chewy. It's brown. It, yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan, but a lot of people like this. Uh, it's very sticky too. Sticky, chewy, very chewy. Uh -huh. Que ya says dulce de azúcar y mantequilla. That is not the answer. I don't think that's three words. <laughs> that's one, two, three, four, five. Five words. Uh, Unfortunately, that's not the answer. So there's only 28 seconds remaining or left. So yeah, 22, 20, 21, 20. <laughs> so yeah, it's very, it's very soft. I don't know. You, it's usually a cube. It looks like a cube kind of candy. Um, yeah, but it's soft and dense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay, time is over. Mm -hmm. James, James was very close. As I said, you can call this candy. You can use only one word for this candy, but there's also another term that has three words. Okay, and this is very common. You're gonna see. You're gonna see that you can use the first two words to describe what kind of candy you're talking about uh, but I'm just gonna reveal the answer and no one's gonna get the point sadly even though James was so close I it, it's not it's not the whole term so I sorry James that was a great answer though uh, dulce okay dulce that means candy okay in Spanish that's a general term de okay de means off or from but uh, when you're talking about candy you can say dulce de and then you specify what the candy is made out of okay or made of <laughs> caramelo caramelo means caramel okay and technically this term means caramel you know just caramel not the liquidy one but the candy the soft dense chewy candy that you can eat right so you can say just caramelo okay quiero un caramelo i want the caramel but uh, you can also say dulce de caramelo and you're just saying that the candy is made out of caramel <laughs> technically <laughs> so yeah that's the term no one gets the point but yeah th this one is a very challenging or was a very challenging one and uh, I'm going to choose the next number. El dulce de caramelo, by the way, that is masculine. So let's do, hmm, which one, which one? Okay, the, the, this one is very easy. This one is very, very easy. So I'm just gonna do one down. And I'm going to highlight the word this has six letters again six letters okay the first letter is the letter D or the letter D okay so the time starts now this is plural okay this noun is plural and this is just a general term for sweet food made with sugar or other sweeteners okay typically formed in small shaped pieces and this is just a general term a common term to refer to any kind of sweet food specifically the one made out of sugar 
or other sweeteners, mainly just sugar and probably corn syrup, who knows, typically formed in small shape, shaped pieces. Okay, so any small shaped thing. <laughs> okay, ding, ding, ding. We have a correct answer. James and Mobile Conan Telephone. Uh, welcome, Mobile. And uh, yes, guys, you are correct. That's uh, that's the answer. Dulces, 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 and this means candy. You know, plural candy. You have a lot of candy. Dulces, and um, los dulces. Remember, it, this word is masculine and also plural. The the uh, singular form is dulce. El dulce or los dulces, candy. Okay, uh, James was the first one to answer, so he gets the point. Good job, James. So, James is leading right now. He has two points, awesome. Okay, James, can you please let us know the next numero while I drink some water? Two across, two across. Sounds like a plan. Two across, dos horizontal. Oh man, James likes challenge, challenges. Like, damn, <laughs> this one is another long one. This one has, who knows how many letters, let's see. Six, nine, uh, 12, 15, 15 letters, same. Same as the one, uh, no, one across, same as one across. This one has 15 letters as well. So let's reset the, reset the timer. Two across, guys. These, oh, before I read the, well, okay. <laughs> what am I doing? The timer, the time starts now. Okay, so this is two words, dos palabras. And the definition is a form of chocolate containing cocoa or cacao solids and co cocoa butter with, without the milk or butter found in milk chocolate. The taste is a bit bitter, but delicious. Yum. Okay, so this is specifically some sort of chocolate that doesn't have milk, butter, and I, I love this. Out of all the words, this or candy <laughs> this is my favorite uh, or the only one that I like <laughs> so it's just chocolate that has it pretty much is just chocolate with no butter it's a, a bit <laughs> bitter so uh, I know in English is known as something different than in Spanish but it's a tricky one it's a tricky one essentially chocolate you use the word chocolate but then you have to find the second word that defines or refers to the chocolate that has no butter, sugar, sometimes no sugar and um, no milk. And usually you, you see a percentage, okay? Some 70%, uh, 80% cacao. Uh, so yeah, how do, you, how do you call this kind of chocolate? Delicious chocolate. Que yes es chocolate caliente. That's not candy, my friend. <laughs> That's not candy. Uh, you're close, though. If you're using just the word choco chocolate, okay? Chocolate. But what's the second word? <laughs> it's a tricky one, I know. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Two, one, zero. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so these guys, the answer is chocolate. Okay, mobile says chocolate vara, chocolate vara. Okay, this is no. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not sure. Is that a brand? <laughs> We're referring to chocolate. That's the first the first word and the second word is amargo 
ok, amargo, this literally means bitter chocolate, but in English you know this as dark chocolate, ok, so that kind of chocolate is delicious and I love it, um, I tried 99% uh, dark chocolate and man, I can handle it, I, I like it, <laughs> I love the flavor. <laughs> I have no issues with that. Uh, but yeah, chocolate amargo means dark chocolate. Okay, so no one gets the point. And yeah, if you want to refer to regular chocolate, you can just say chocolate, okay? But if you want to specifically refer to dark chocolate, then you have to say el chocolate amargo, okay? Or... Um, yeah, yeah, el chocolate amargo, and it's masculine, masculine guys, okay? So I'm sad that no one guessed this one. I don't know if you don't like dark chocolate, guys, but man, I do. <laughs> I do a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm going to. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening on the chat? Chupacabra. <laughs> James, what are you talking about? Chupacabra, el chupacabra. <laughs> um, that would be funny if uh, some chocolate has like a chupacabra uh, shape <laughs> or something like that. That would be pretty, pretty cool, <laughs> I think. Uh, but yeah, it's not chupacabra. <laughs> okay, yes, I got stump. I learned something new. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Okay, welcome, Kay. Semi nomadic. Welcome. Buenas noches. Aprendí una nueva palabra. Gracias. Uh, and also, Kay. Also, Kay says, a mí me gusta. Ah, a mí me gusta también. I love it. Dark chocolate. Okay. Um, now, let's. Let me just find the next number. Um, hmm. <laughs> five, I think five down. It, I, I saw it. I saw what the answer is, and it's not too easy. It's a tricky one. But let's see if you can guess this word. Five down, guys, is right here. It has five letters, so that's convenient. Five down, five letters, and um. Remember, all the words are nouns. This one is one word, only one word, five letters. And uh -huh, the time starts now and the definition is hearty mint flavored candy. Okay, so this one, this, <laughs> this is very funny because you usually refer to this as just the flavor of this candy okay um, you don't say dulce or something like that you could you could but you could also just say the flavor of this candy so it's a hearty mint flavored candy I hate it I don't like this kind of candy um, usually well you can usually people eat this after they eat some meal just to refresh their breath or something like that. I'm not even sure because I don't need candy. Aha, uh -huh. so I see some answers. And ding, 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 we have a correct answer. Okay. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, yes, yes, that is the answer. Menta. That is. The correct answer, menta, menta, quiero una menta, por favor, I want some mint, okay, mint, that's what this literally means, you can, this refers to the flavor, okay, and even the plant, um, mint plant, there's, you know, that's a plant, mint, or peppermint, I think, that's similar, uh, but yeah, mint, or menta, means mint, and this is, of course, feminine, la menta. You can also say, quiero un dulce de menta, just like un dulce de caramelo. You can say, un dulce de menta. And yeah, that means mint. That's easy, easy. 
Who guessed first? Let's see. Let's see. Who guessed first? Uh -huh. KS and K answered correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, KS was the first one to answer, so he gets the point. Good job, KS. Uh, let me just uh, give you the point. Awesome. So we have a tie right now. That's very exciting. I like that. And um, let's see. KS is saying 13 vertical. And me encanta el T. T has an accent mark on top of the letter E or E. T de menta. Me encanta el de menta, okay? So, thank you for sharing and 13 vertical. 13 vertical, guys, that is here. Well, 13 across. We don't have down. We don't have 13 down. 13 horizontal, okay? Horizontal, vertical. I always get confused too. <laughs> I always say uh, horizontal, uh, instead of vertical and vertical instead of horizontal. I know, I know <laughs> it gets confusing, but horizontal is across or horizontally or horizontal and vertical down. Okay, Verti ver vertical. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where is this word? Okay, that's over here. The last letter is the letter A. <laughs> and this word has six, nine, nueve letras, guys. Nueve letras, nine letters. Let's find the definition. 13, 13. Uh -huh. Okay, this is technically not candy, but... It's sweet. <laughs> it's sweet, okay? So the time starts now. This is a sweet spread or preserve made from fruit and sugar boiled to a thick consistency. Okay, so we are talking about some sort of spread. It could be made out of strawberry, uh, blueberries, um, I don't know, like raspberries? I don't even know. <laughs> but it's just a sweet spread or preserve made from fruit and sugar boiled to a thick consistency. I know this is not candy, but it's also a common Spanish word. And okay, ding, ding, ding. We have a correct, oh, actually, no <laughs> actually yes yes sorry sorry i <laughs> didn't see that well um we have an answer and the answer is do you know which one is the correct one because james said nutella nutella and let me tell you something guys um a lot of candy and the spanish speaking world or in different spanish speaking countries um a lot of candy is i don't know you can refer to certain candy just by saying the brand for example m m's that's m m's everywhere <laughs> in latin america they have different brands of that same candy but uh you can you can find sneakers you can find um i don't know like you just refer to the candy just by saying the brand of that candy, okay? So sneakers, I, as I said, guys, I don't know much about candy, uh, but, you know, any famous candy that uh, you can find in Latin America or in Spain, they will refer to the candy as, you know, or oh, me gustan el chocolate sneakers, okay? So you only need to know what the 
the candy is made out of like it could be chocolate or dulce right can't just candy sugar uh, but yeah they use a lot of brands in latin america and in spain as well so just 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 so you know <laughs> okay so where, where, where was i oh yeah uh nutella nutella in latin america is known as nutella as well <laughs> but that's not the answer the answer is mermelada because as i said this is made out of some sort of fruit strawberry and nutella i don't think it has any strawberry or raspberry or whatever but <laughs> that's a great answer james uh, mermelada means jam okay la mermelada de fresa if that uh, jam is made out of strawberries strawberry jam mermelada de fresa mermelada de piña pineapple jam uh, and so on okay so you just gotta say mermelada de and then the fruit and then you you got it okay but just a general term or a more common term to refer to jam is mermelada la mermelada okay so who was the first one to answer guys uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Kay says yes peppermint in english yes <laughs> i knew it <laughs> thank you Kay. Uh huh. Um, mermelada. That was KS. KS said that first. It's right here. So KS gets the point. Good job, KS. La mermelada. Now, KS, can you please let us know the next number? Mobile. Yes, that's correct. Mermelada. K says, Buenas noches, que yes. Sí, hay erupciones del volcán de San Vicente en la isla de mis padres, pero toda mi familia en la isla está a salvo. Gracias a Dios. Wow, really? That is... I didn't, I didn't know that. San Vicente. Where is San Vicente? Um... But, uh, I mean, I'm glad, Kay, that uh, your family is safe. So, that, that's awesome. That's awesome. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Kay, yes. Uso mermelada en pan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's a great example. Tres vertical. Tres vertical. Let's do that, guys. Tres ver vertical. That is three down. And that's right over here. This word has six letters, six letras. The first letter is the letter C. <laughs> and I'm gonna find a definition. Three down. Okay. Now the time starts right now. <laughs> you chew this, okay? And typically this is sold in packets of individually wrapped thin strips okay and this word is used mainly in mexico so now we're talking about a word that is mainly used in mexico but you chew this you chew you, you know this something that you constantly chew and it's typically sold in packets of individually wrapped thin strips so what is it what is it okay let's see what you guys are saying mm -hmm. okay is saying mermelada de piña interesante yes there's pineapple jam you can find like i believe many different fruity um jam and everywhere <laughs> but yeah that's an interesting one and I see a correct answer. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, I see it. K says, está al lado de bar bar Barbados. En el Caribe. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you for letting me know. K, that's, that's awesome. I hope everyone's safe. Um, so, Luke says, Luke Letica, welcome. Welcome, Luke. And that's correct. We're talking about chicle chicle okay so this means chewing gum in 
specifically in Mexico, okay? Chicle, the story of chewing gum in Mexico is quite interesting. They used some sort of um, tree bark or something, some liquid from a tree, chicle, I believe that's the name of the tree. And um, yeah, they call that chicle. So <laughs> chicle, chicle. <laughs> and that's that's pretty, pretty cool. That means chewing gum. And you can, actually, this is a masculine noun. So you refer to this, well, you, you can say el chicle, el chicle. Quiero un chicle. Gracias por el chicle, okay? Chicle. That's a, uh, I like the pronunciation of this word. And again, that means chewing gum. So, who, Luke. Luke was the only one who... And K. Yeah, yeah, and K. You guys answered correctly. Okay, so I'm going to give a point to Luke. Just going to duplicate that. Look, one point. And good job, Luke. Now, look, can you please let us know the next number? Okay, I see that K says, Estoy masticando chicle. Yes, that's correct. Perfect. Yep, that's correct. Okay, yes, San Vicente es una isla del Caribe. Es bueno saber que semi-nomadic, las cenizas también caen en barbados. Mmm, that's intense, yeah. Uh -huh. I believe que yes is from Barbados too. So that's awesome, that's awesome. Uh, que, sí, la, la hay ceniza en Santa Lucia también. Sí, hay ceniza en Santa Lucia también. Ok, look, 8 vertical, por favor. You got it. So, uh, 8 vertical, 8 down. And that is right over here, guys. And, man, the first letter is the letter G. <laughs> G, G de gato. And this has 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 letras. 12 letras, guys. 12 letras. Are you guys ready? I'm just going to reset the timer. And, okay, this is quite interesting. Oh, how convenient. How convenient. <laughs> You're gonna like this definition. Okay, so the time starts now. This has three words, guys, three words. And the definition is, you chew this, and typically this is sold in packets of individually grab, wrapped thin strips. So same definition as the previous word. And this is a more general term used in many Spanish speaking countries, okay? So this is another way to call uh, this thing, you know, that you chew. <laughs> and this is not only used in Mexico, but also in many Spanish speaking countries, okay? And uh, that's the more correct term. I, I think both are correct, but chicle is uh, mostly used in Mexico, okay? Ding, 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 we have an answer. We have an, a correct answer. And, uh -huh. goma de mascar, goma de mascar. Yes, that is the answer. Goma is the first word. And then de, that's the second one. Mascar, that's the third one. And this means chewing gum. <laughs> So, chicle and goma de mascar mean exactly the same, but a more common term used in many Spanish-speaking countries is goma de mascar, okay? Goma de mascar, chewing gum. So, good job, um, KS. Yeah, he was the only one. Yeah. Okay, KS gets a point. 
oops not 34 just four points <laughs> awesome um good job okay yes can you please let us know the next number uh -huh. okay seminomatic says oh no lo sabia well yes yes so that's awesome you guys um you you guys are from Barbados. that's awesome so yeah <laughs> Okay, okay, yes, can you please let us know the next number? We only have how many left? Six, six guys, six more words. And I just, I, four down looks crazy to me, but, and that's the one, that's the one that KS is saying. <laughs> so, that is awesome. Okay, let's do that one four down that is right over here four down this one has three six nine twelve fifteen yeah right yeah fifteen <laughs> fifteen guys 15, again, 15 words, 15 letters, okay, 15 letras, and let's see what this word is about, so yeah, oh boy, this one is quite colorful, so the time starts now, this has three words, okay, not one, but, but three, another three words and uh, this is the definition is a mass of fluffy spoon sugar usually pink or white wrapped around a stick or a paper cone okay so this is a very fluffy one and this is made out of just sugar um, it's usually pink or white wrapped around a stick uh or a paper cone oh my goodness that's so awesome okay seminomatic seminomatic just uh donated five dollars thank you so much k that is amazing k saying gracias por la conversación y las nuevas palabras that's awesome k i really appreciate that that's that's great thank you so much and um i see a correct answer too so <laughs> i'm so excited thank you Kay. um okay uh, Kay says algodón de azúcar and man man i have to say i have to say good job ks good job because you got the correct spelling and you have the accent marks and everything so that is amazing um algodón that's the first word guys algodón with an accent mark on top of the letter o the last o and then that's uh, the first word the second word is de okay and the third one is azúcar azúcar it means sugar algodón cotton and when you use the that you're pretty much saying that uh, that cotton is made out of candy the uh, not candy <laughs> sugar <laughs> okay so this means algodón de azúcar means cotton candy okay and that is a very fluffy one it looks pretty cool i gotta say um the ones from japan i've seen videos of of them and they look massive so colorful and they look so pretty it's just pure sugar but <laughs> it looks so pretty <laughs> okay so good job ks uh you my friend you're getting another point and you're leading so far ks so good job mobile Conan Telephone says Aquaren, Aquaren Nube. Wow, that is something different. <laughs> okay, uh, Algodón de Azúcar. Yeah, you almost got it right. Uh, but KS has the correct 
like 100% correct term uh, and yeah algodón de azúcar so yeah good job guys you you're doing a fantastic job and okay yes it's saying 11 vertical so let's do that and uh, once again K, okay, thank you so much <laughs> muchas gracias muchas gracias K. Okay. Uh, lo aprecio, lo aprecio mucho. Muchas gracias. <laughs> ok, ¿qué es? Es saying um, 11 vertical. So let's do that one. 11 vertical. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. And now you know, <laughs> you're gonna know <laughs> a bunch of different terms about candy. <laughs> ok, so 11, 11 vertical. 11 vertical is right over here. Now let me tell you guys that this word has seven letters, siete letras. Okay, 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, this one is interesting. The time starts now. So this is plural, guys, another plural word. And the definition is a chewy gelatin-based gelatin candy, okay? And it's often flavored with fruit. So it's just a chewy gelatin-based candy. So, and it's very chewy, very colorful, and some of them have some sort of bear shape. I believe so. Mm -hmm. But we're not talking about little bears. We're talking about just a term for that kind of candy, okay? So, do you know the answer? Do you, do you guys know the answer? Uh-huh. So, let's see. Um, <laughs> Kay says, Nunca he visto el algodón de azúcar de Japón. Man, that is crazy. If you if you search that on YouTube, you're gonna find a bunch a bunch of videos about that, and they look amazing. I would never eat one, but they look amazing, really pretty. Yeah, Mobile says. Goma, goma orso. You're close, my friend. James says, gelatina hecho con aguardiente. <laughs> yes, that's a different kind of, of uh, jelly. <laughs> gelatina hecho con aguardiente. Okay, 10 seconds left, guys. James says, gummy osos. Yeah, you're pretty close, but <laughs> that's in English, kind of. Spanglish and oh, wah wah wah. Okay. Okay, yes, es como niño me encanta el algodón de azúcar, pero ahora tengo que reducir la velocidad. Okay, <laughs> interesting. And uh, let me tell you guys that the answer is gomitas. Gomitas. Okay. Gomitas means gummies, okay? Just any kind of gummies. Could be, um, you could say gomitas de oso. That would be <laughs> like gummy bears. Um, you, but essentially, yeah, that's the, the common term for gummies. Gomitas, gomitas, las gomitas. And that's plural, of course. Feminine, uh, the singular form is gomita, la gomita. And yeah, that, that's what it means. Gummies. Okay, so no one gets the point, sadly. Gel gelatin is gelatina. Yeah, just like KS is saying, but that's not the answer. Uh, now you know. Gomitas, gummies. Okay, now I'm going to choose the next number. And I think I'm going to choose um, nine down. Let's see, let's see what that one is about and um, let's see nine down has actually I need to highlight the word 
I almost forgot. Here's the word, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but this word has three, six, seven, seven letters, guys. Seven letters. Okay, nine down. Nine down. The time starts now. So this is uh, some light candy-like mixture made by mixing finely ground almonds or peanuts with sugar. So this is a very Latin American treat. <laughs> I mean, from Latin America in Mexico, you can find this. And this is made out of peanuts, okay? Uh, just ground peanuts. Uh, some other countries have they're made out of um, th this candy is made out of almonds ground almonds very finely ground and um, yeah so it's just light it crumbles really easily candy like mixture made by mixing made by mixing finely ground almonds or peanuts with sugar and uh, I don't know if you know this one and <laughs> This one actually has an accent mark. Hopefully you know where it goes. And yeah, so do you know the answer? There's 55 seconds left, guys. Um, so I see that uh, K says ositos de goma. Yes, <laughs> gummy bears. <laughs> ositos de goma. You could say, yeah, you could say ositos de goma or gomitas de osos. Or they also so yeah ositos de goma both terms work fine uh so okay 27 26 well yeah i think it, ositos de goma sounds sounds a bit better yeah ositos de goma yeah could be yeah yeah i, I like that one more for sure uh james says Cacahuete, cacahuete, no, my friend, no, it's made out of that. <laughs> One, wah, wah. <laughs> it's all good, guys. Uh, we're here to learn, and the answer is mazapan, mazapan, mazapan. And I don't know if you tried this before, but it's quite interesting. The flavor is really interesting. I find it to be too sugary for you know for my taste but uh, it's it's a very very it's tasty it's tasty mazapan this means marzipan okay that's the term in english marzipan and uh yeah in spanish you call it mazapan el mazapan it's masculine <laughs> on top of that it's masculine <laughs> el mazapan the marzipan and no one answered i love that cases granola that, that's awesome uh yeah nowadays granola can be very sugary uh but yeah that's that's a great term but sadly the correct answer is mazapan okay now i'm gonna choose the next one guys we only have three three left three words left uh james says is it peanut brittle Mm, I don't think so. Let me let me Google that just to see a picture. No, it's not. No, mazapan is actually very soft, and brittle is like kind of hard, I believe. Uh, this um, mazapan is it, it look, looks like uh, some. It has a round shape. And it's kind of small and you bite into that and it just crumbles it's just it's crazy it's crazy it's very messy <laughs> but okay let's let's do the next one guys okay the next word I think 10 across let's do that one it looks very good to me okay so this one has six six letters six letras and we have two as <laughs> sounds weird but as is like you're referring to two two a's <laughs> those as <laughs> anyway um <laughs> let me find the definition uh-huh
Okay, so remember this has six letters and the time starts now. So this is a sweet crystalline or crystalline crystalline substance obtained from various plants and used as a sweetener in food and drink. Okay, so this is just this is very funny because candy's made out of this. So a sweet crystal crystalline 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 i think substance obtained from various plants okay and this is used to give the sweet flavor to food and drinks and in candy <laughs> okay so what is candy made out of <laughs> mostly okay and you already said that like before I think yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh -huh. Okay, remember it has an accent mark somewhere, so whoever has the correct spelling, even though that person cannot be the first one to answer, uh, that person using the correct accent mark uh, gets a point as well. So? No, no one? <laughs> I love James is using a capital U. Okay. Okay, okay. Awesome. Okay, I see James did it. And also, well, KS okay, was the first one. But uh, James has the correct grammar. 100% correct. And so, you two guys are going to get a point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, so that's the answer, guys. Azúcar, azúcar. Just like Celia Cruz was uh, saying uh, in her songs, while well, singing her songs, she would say, azúcar. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. And um, KS and Luke, no, KS and James, yeah. KS is getting the point because he answered first. Okay, and James is getting a point because he used the perfect, he has a perfect grammar. He used the accent mark. So, yeah, that's good. And uh, either James or KS, can you please let me know the next number? By the way, azúcar means sugar. Okay. Uh, azúcar, el azúcar, by the way, masculine, el azúcar. That means the sugar or sugar, okay? So either James or KS, can you please let me know the next number? We're almost done, guys. Man, it's been an hour already. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I have the, the I have the nickname Sugar Astronaut. Yeah, Astronauta de Azúcar. <laughs> That's in Spanish. Uh, but okay, let's do Siete Vertical. Siete Vertical. Mm -hmm. That's actually Siete Horizontal. And that is right over here. This has three, six, seven, eight, ocho letras, and this word has um, the uh, the letters O and A. Okay. So the time. Let me find the definition first. The time starts now. So this is plural as well. So the definition is a soft, chewy, and usually white confection made with sugar and gelatin it's very fluffy as well okay so what is fluffy chewy soft usually white i've seen pink ones too um it's a confection made with sugar in gelatin and it's it has a unique shape as well it's very fluffy um you use that to make something with chocolate and cookies 
Mm, I forgot the, <laughs> the name of that. <laughs> so do you know? And also remember, this is plural. Plural, guys. More than one. Uh, what's the name of that? That thing that you use... S'mores. Yeah, s'mores. You make that. S'mores. Mm-hmm. Hi, Will! Confetes! Hi, welcome! And uh, confetes is not the answer. <laughs> but uh, that, I, I don't think that's a Spanish word. But uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, James says malvavisco. It's similar to that. But it doesn't fit in there. In the crossword. S'mores. Yeah, s'mores. That's the, that's the word that I was trying to say. S'mores. Uh, it's quite interesting. So I guess... <laughs> oh, 12. I know... Jim, four, three, <laughs> two, one, and I did something. I don't know what I did. James says, why did you highlight 12 and not seven? Yeah, I was my bad, but I highlighted the number 12. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's okay. I, I still read the, the correct definition for 12 across. I highlighted that. Uh, anyways, no one uh, guessed that, so I'm just going to reveal the answer. But good point, James. Sorry about that. Bombones. Bombones, guys. Bombones. That means marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows. That's plural. Bombon is singular. Bombones is plural. Los bombones. The marshmallows. Okay? So, yeah, sorry about the number there, but yeah, that, <laughs> that, was the, that was the answer. Okay, so the last one is seven across, guys. Seven across, and this has um, the letter E at the end. It's a long one. It has three, six, uh, nine, twelve. Doce letras. Yeah. Yeah. Doce letras. Twelve letters. And um, <laughs> let me reset the timer. Okay. So let's see. Let's see, guys. Mm -hmm. Que you say in, in Frances? Bon, bonbons. Bonbon. Bonbon. <laughs> oh, man. My, yeah. I, I don't know how to. <laughs> to pronounce that in French but I love the you know the whole French pronunciation or the whole French language is just very very nice <laughs> it, it sounds very nice uh, yeah that's correct hey uh, yeah bonbons in in French means candy yeah that's crazy huh that's very crazy so okay guys the last one the last one is seven seven across it has uh, 12 letters 12 letters the last letter is the letter a e. e. and uh, I'm gonna find a definition mm -hmm. oh this one is good guys <laughs> whoever likes candy and specifically candy or something sweet like sweet stuff from Latin America they will know this they will know this for sure Okay, so the time starts now. The definition of this, well, first, this has three words, tres palabras, and the definition is a caramel confection from Latin America prepared by slowly heating sugar in milk over a period of several hours. It's thick and creamy, okay? Once again, three words. A caramel confection from Latin America. I've seen this in Colombia and Venezuela and sometimes in America like they they like that. Uh, so it's prepared by slowly heating sugar and milk over a period of several hours. 
it's thick and creamy yeah will is yeah will you um <laughs> that's 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 in in portuguese how do you say that in spanish ding 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 okay i see i see a correct answer i see a correct answer and the correct answer my my guys i was gonna say my guys <laughs> okay and the correct answer guys is let's see let's see dulce that's the first word dulce dulce the second word de uh-huh and the last one leche dulce de leche <laughs> in mexico this is um you can say this as cajeta cajeta that is the term of dulce de leche in mexico cajeta la cajeta uh, but uh, in colombia venezuela and other parts in latin america this is known as dulce de leche uh, so yeah and the person who answered correctly is k k james was <laughs> dulces picantes <laughs> that's interesting k you my friend you got it correct it's correct correctly uh, <laughs> what am i saying uh okay okay you get a point my friend and that's amazing that's amazing how did you know have you tried dulce de leche before dulce de leche there is no translation for this one um i don't know it's some sort of caramel but it it's made out of milk or something like that uh but yeah it looks like caramel for sure Okay, um, mm -hmm. dulce de leche, quiero dulce de leche, and honestly guys, I'm sorry, but I don't like any of this <laughs> other than uh, dark chocolate, dark chocolate is my favorite, uh, the, I mean, the ones that are like 99% dark chocolate or from 70% to almost 100% dark chocolate, I, I love that, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> i'm weird i guess i don't know i just like that um so let's see what you guys are saying really quickly and then we will read the score i will say all the words so you can again so you can repeat or just say the pronunciation of each word with me and then uh we'll see who goes to the monthly score the name right <laughs> i'm talking about names here Okay, so, um, okay, Mobile says also dulce de leche, so yeah, that was correct. Que okay, yes, hables francés, que okay, semi-domatic, si, sí, eso es así, eso es genial. Yeah, French, man, yeah, que, okay, que okay, speaks French, so that's awesome. And she has really good Spanish as well, so man, that's, that's awesome, and obviously English. <laughs> <laughs> that is great, Kay. Um, William says, or Will says, got to the party late. Yeah, Will, and you, you, my friend, you, you suggested this crossword about candy. <laughs> so you, you missed it. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It was a great idea, though. Like I really liked talking about this, even though I don't eat sweets or candy uh, it's cool. it's part of the language right and the spanish language in in any language so yeah thank you for suggesting that um k says gracias next time i need to join earlier yeah if you can if you can please do so that would be great uh k also says no pero tengo unos amigos latinos oh, okay so they probably eat le uh, dulce de leche. Yeah. Interesting. K okay, yes. Buen trabajo. Okay. Yeah, I agree. You you guys did an excellent job. You guessed almost everything. I know that there were some words of, that were kind of long and difficult, but you did a great job. 
Okay, it says it was also the only one that I didn't really see in the crossword, so I just guessed. Ah, oh, okay. Gracias, KS, y felicidades a ti. Okay, awesome. So let's read the whole the whole thing. No, let's just say all the words again, and uh, you you can say the words with me. Uh, feel free to do that. The louder, the better, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Dulce de caramelo. Dulce de caramelo. This means just caramel, okay? Just the, the, the candy, right? Dulces. Dulces means candy. Chocolate amargo. El chocolate amargo. Dark chocolate. La paleta. La paleta. The lollipop. La menta. La menta. Mint. Just the mint flavored candy. <laughs> Al, el algodón de azúcar. El algodón de azúcar. Cotton candy. El chicle. El chicle. De chewing gum. La goma de mascar. La goma de mascar. De chewing gum again. <laughs> el azúcar. El azúcar. Sugar. Or the sugar. El mazapán, el mazapán, marzipan. Los bombones, los bombones, marshmallows. Las gomitas, las gomitas, uh, gummies. La mermelada, la mermelada. The jam, or jam. Caries, caries. Cavities. That happens when you eat a lot of sugar <laughs> and diabetes. Okay. Uh, and lastly, <laughs> dulce de leche. Dulce, el dulce de leche. That means dulce de leche. <laughs> There's no translation. Uh, but yeah, that was. Those were the words, guys. You did a great job. And now let's read the score. Today's score is uh, K got one point, look one point, James three points, and KS six points. So today's winner is KS. Welcome, welcome, congratulations, KS. You know many words in Spanish about candy, and I mean. Congratulations, you guys did a, you, you should be proud of yourselves and also obviously KS answered first, uh, many words, KS, yeah, six points, man, good job, and I'm going to give KS another win, okay, so KS has two, two wins, <laughs> Uh, that's the monthly score, guys. To, uh, the April, yeah, April's score. Yeah. So we have only one more crossword puzzle, and let's see what happens. Let's see if Will uh, wins the next one, then we will have a tie. Uh, or if KS wins the next one, then he is going to uh, have a chance uh, of just get the chance to join us on a podcast episode that happens when you win the most times every month or any month <laughs> you get the chance to join us on a podcast episode and you can talk about different things with us uh so yeah that is that is the <laughs> what you what you get <laughs> anyway um we already did that and yeah we had a lot of fun it was great uh, and by the way guys if you win once if you already won once like will and he wins again that's fine he can join us again for a second time um, you know so that, that would be great too KS uh, is leading so far if someone else wins the like next week you know the, yeah next the last crossword puzzle 
then uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I think KS still wins because he has two. He has won twice already. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see, guys. Do you have any questions, any comments? And I have a few minutes, and then um, I'll be saying goodbye. Uh, let's see, guys. What do you say? Okay. Um, mobile, mobile <laughs> says astronauta de chocolate. Ooh, I'd love to be a, an astronauta de chocolate. I love, I love chocolate. That's the only Swedish, Swedish <laughs> sounds like Swedish. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can eat that is kind of sweet, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but other than that, I can't. I, I just don't like sugar. <laughs> what can I tell you? And it's funny because my nickname is Sugar Astronaut, but eh, <laughs> it's all good. K okay, yes, muchas gracias K semi nomadic. Oh, that's nice. Uh, K yes also says si quieres crucigrama de aeropuerto y avión. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you for suggesting that. Will says estaba muy cansado. Gracias por el tema. Voy a analizar las palabras después. It's all good, Will. Um, nevertheless, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> And uh, Will says congrats K yes. Okay, yes, esto es divertido y buen ejercicio para la mente, for sure. Okay, soy golosa. I have a sweet tooth. Yes, golosa. Uh, that is, that's correct. That's correct. And I believe that golosa. Yeah, no, you have the, yeah, everything. Yeah, all of that is correct. Golosa is someone who likes to eat a lot of anything. It could be sweets, it could be any kind of food, but you just like to to eat a lot of something, right? Uh, that's correct, okay? And yeah, I know, the teeth, <laughs> teeth emoji, <laughs> cavities, caries. Okay, um, hmm. Thank you, Kay, once again, for the support. And guys, James says, well, gracias. You're welcome. De nada, James. Uh, Kay says, muchas gracias, sugar astronaut, y buenas noches a todos. Excellent. Perfect Spanish. Uh, Kay, yes, ten cuidado y ten, ten una noche maravillosa. Okay, thank you, Kay, yes. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for learning this Uh, with me, I mean, I know the words, but it's okay. <laughs> I like I like talking about this, and um, you're awesome. You guessed many words. You should be proud of yourselves. And um, if you like this video, please give it a like. That helps me a lot. And if you want to learn more Spanish, you can check out the memberships on this channel. You only need to click on the join button down below. There are different perks when getting one. You can um, get a, get shout outs. You can get... Um, Uh, you can get access to exclusive live streams and also, also also video chat with me. So that is something amazing. So check that out, guys, if you're interested. Uh, and that's it. Have a lovely night, a lovely evening or morning, wherever you are. Thank you once again. Uh, take care of yourself. Be safe. And I'll see you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.